because honestly, if you're a streamer, the stream deck is probably the most crucial item for when you're streaming. I use the stream deck so many times every stream. Hey guys, I'm here to show you the updates that Elgato has been making to Stream Deck Mobile and specifically towards the iPad. You can also use the Stream Deck Mobile on your phone, obviously, but I am going to be focusing on the iPad because A, that's where I think it's like it's the strongest and also it opens up a lot more possibilities if you do use it on an iPad. And yes, this video is sponsored. I've been working with Elgato for three to four years now, but that is because I absolutely love them. Otherwise, I would not keep working with them for so long. But um, my opinions are always my own, okay? So let me go through all the features that they have updated. But first, I want to tell you guys why I like this product so much, okay? So what I do is I have this little stand that lets me put my iPad in a, an upright position so I can read it. I actually bring it with me into the kitchen when I do my cooking streams because the Stream Deck Mobile lets you connect to your streaming PC and the Stream Deck app on your streaming PC uh, and then lets you walk around and be mobile, in other words. You can be wherever you want, which means that you could have it in front of your PC, but you could also have it out in the kitchen, which is where I use it the most. Work smarter, not harder. Exactly. The reason I recommend the iPad is because it actually lets you run it in split screen. I'm going to go through the specifics and show you how it works later, but for now, let me just say that it lets you run two apps at the same time. All right, so let's jump into the features that they have updated. If you get a Stream Deck, that's going to be a big investment for you up front, right? The Stream Deck Mobile lets you use whatever items you have at home, probably already have a phone at least but you might even have an iPad. So if you have those products, why not try out and see if you feel like uh, the Stream Deck Mobile actually covers your needs. Stream Deck Mobile is actually going freemium as they call it, which basically means that it's free to use and then you can buy a pro subscription either on a uh, monthly basis, a yearly basis or a lifetime license. This is what the free version gives you, six buttons. It's a very low threshold with the monthly subscription just to give the product a try. That way you can kind of get acquainted with how many buttons do I want? Do I actually like the, the Stream Deck Mobile or do I actually want to upgrade to a physical Stream Deck? And then which one do I want? Do I want a small one? Do I want a medium one? Big one? Do I want the one with the knobs? So many options. This lets you try them all out for a very, very small threshold or whatever you call it. It's a low threshold to get to try it, so to say. The reason I really love running the Stream Deck Mobile on my iPad specifically and not my phone is because it lets you run it in split screen. I briefly talked about this, but let's look at what that actually means. It means that you can have one program on the left side and one on the right side. In my case, it could be a, a recipe on the right side and uh, the Stream Deck Mobile on uh, the left side, for instance, like this. For me, I'm running my uh, Stream Deck Mobile and then I'm also using my Twitch chat. On top of that, in the top right corner, I use a little preview of my stream so that I actually get to see what the camera angle is and everything. Really amazing setup. I do recommend it. Um, this way I can control my, my PC and my streaming PC, all the things that I need for my stream from the kitchen, which is golden. The Stream Deck Mobile has native support for iPad, which means that it's specifically programmed for this. It runs really, really smoothly. I have not had any issues on my iPad running this whatsoever, so it is well programmed. They have modernized it and, and um, updated a lot with it, so make sure to give it a spin and test it out. Even if you already tried it in the past, give it another go. Pairing is also super simple. Once you download the app and start it up, you actually don't have to do anything. It's automatically gonna connect to the stream PC that you have and the Stream Deck software. So the only thing you need is a PC with the Stream Deck app on it. All the changes you need to make can be done through the Stream Deck app on your PC. Another cool feature that they did is that they actually added face plates. So if you go into settings again, you can choose uh, different designs here. Let's just go with something, let's go with this. Either you go with the with the preset one, they have a couple of different to, to choose from, or you design one yourself and then upload it straight into the app. Okay, so I noticed that uh, every image here has two different sets. It has to do with whether you've selected dark screen or light screen. This is what it looks like. I'm using dark screen at the moment, but if you then go and change to bright mode, it is gonna change into the bright image 
instead. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of the iPad Stream Deck Mobile. I use this a lot, especially for my cooking streams, which by the way, they're probably going to be up here on recommended for the recommended video that I will put up here. Uh, go watch that after this video is done. And um, I will see you on stream and in the next YouTube video. All right. Have a great one, guys. Mwah.